Hey y'all, it's your girl Monique. I was gonna say back at it again, but it's been a minute since I've been on here and I wanted to apologize because listen, life has been lifing, okay? All right, we were nice and consistent, but yeah, like I said, life been trying to, trying to get your girl these days, but you know what, we fighting back and things are going well and we're back at it and I'm here today with another video. And as I just saw in the title, we're gonna be talking about how to get along with men first of all this was a requested video but i feel like this is definitely something that i can speak on because i get along with men very well personally so why not share tips why not share tricks and why not just let y'all know because i feel like i feel like a lot of the times we talk about not necessarily hating men but we talk about how to attract men or how to just be more attractive and how to just be more sexier for men we never necessarily talk about how to get along with them and just like everything else there's a strategy you have to be very um i don't want to say calculated but there are certain things that you can do to help you get along with men better especially for those who are not in relationships looking for relationships but don't necessarily know how to talk to men or know how to keep a man for that matter these tips hopefully will help you guys out and just show you how to navigate relationships or friendships with men just a little bit better. So without further ado, let's hop into these tips. And y'all yeah, didn't ask, but like my birthday's coming. My birthday's like a month away. Uh, I'm gonna be 25, y'all. Ah! And that's why that's why I've been slacking because life's been trying to kick my ass. But anyways, let's hop back into this video. How to get along with men. So number one, men are very simple creatures, okay? And with that being said, keep it simple with them, all right? When it comes to just activities, um, whatever you want to do, whether it's going out to dinner, whether you want to go rock climbing or whatever it is, they're more than likely up for whatever you want to do. Men are not as complicated as women. You know what women like, if you say, oh, let's go, let's go rock climbing. It's, oh, I need an outfit for that. Oh, I need shorts for that. Oh, it's a high, it's going to be a long walk. Oh, my hair is not done we're a lot men are way more simpler than us you tell them you want to do something they're doing it uh, i i want to go too you know what i mean so don't overcomplicate things when you're hanging out with them it's really not that hard they literally will go with the flow trust me on that like even if there's an activity maybe a show that you want to watch and you don't think he'd be interested in you'd be surprised how many guys will sit there and watch baddies with you okay so don't overcomplicate it in your head and don't think that he wouldn't want to do something just because, <laughs> I don't know, you made up a reason in your head. But again, they're way more simpler than women. They're more than likely going to do whatever it is that you want to do or you express to him that you'd like to try out. Number two, do not force a man to talk about his feelings. Men generally don't like talking about their feelings at all. And you constantly pushing him to make him talk about it, tell him to let you know how he feels or express his emotions, that's just going to close him off and not make him want to talk to you at all like don't make it feel forceful don't make it seem like every time he talks to you it has to be an emotional conversation no again keep it simple okay these are grown men we're talking about they don't want to sit down talking about how you made them feel their feelings being hurt they don't want to talk about that you may want to and it's fine once in a while to bring up how you feel to your man especially but nobody wants to talk about their feelings every single conversation let's just be real here and honestly, once they get to that stage with you where they do feel comfortable, where they do feel vulnerable with you and, you know, open to sharing their feelings, they will. And you know when they get there. It's not going to come from you pushing them to talk about it or telling him, I don't know how you feel. You never talk to me. It's not going to come from that. It's going to come from you providing a space where he can be vulnerable, where he, where he can feel like he can come and talk to you. So don't always ask. Just give him space and make him feel comfortable enough so he will want to talk to you and, you know, get a little deeper and express how he feels. Next, stop being so nitpicky about every little thing he does. If he wants to go out with his friends on a Friday night, on a Thursday night, let him go out with his friends. If he left toilet paper on the floor, okay, I could see where it may bother us and where we would say something. But if it's like, let's say, what do men do? That's irritating what don't they do that's irritating but anyways let's say you guys have a basket in the bathroom and he left the toothpaste outside of the basket you don't need to yell at a grown man to put the toothpaste back in a basket like if it's a small thing and something where you can simply just fix it just do it you don't have to nip it out of every little thing like if you will not die 
without mentioning this to him, just take care of it. Just fix it. I'm not saying let him run all over you, clean up his mess all the time. Again, these are grown men we're dealing with, but I'm saying if it's something like him not putting one cup in the cabinet or leaving one spoon in the sink, like let's not nitpick at such little things because there are so many bigger, more important things in the world to be arguing about or to be bringing up. You know what I mean? So try not to be too nitpicky. And like I said, you know, don't let him get away with every little thing. Definitely check him when needed. But if it's something that you know will cause an argument, but it really wasn't a big deal, but it will probably go further than it ever needed to be, just leave it alone, okay? We're, we're looking for peace here. And at the end of the day, if you are his peace, if you don't bring all the problems, confusion, and arguments, he is more willing to stick with you, girl. Remember, we're trying to get along with them here, okay? We're not trying to be pests. Next, give him words of affirmation. Like the same way we like to be complimented, we like to be told we look beautiful, we're doing good, so do they. So for example, if he does, if he did something that you like, let's say he cooked you a good dinner, or maybe he put all the dishes away after dinner and you liked it, you have to use those positive affirmations to let him know so he will continue doing these things. You have to affirm him. Babe, this was great. Babe, you did good. Babe, I like that. And he will keep doing those things because he knows that he will get that positive reaction from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's say he does, let's say he mops the floor. He doesn't mop the floor too often. Don't come in the house like, damn, you finally mopped the floor. No, then he never gonna mop the floor again for you. You're supposed to go, babe you, you mopped the floor oh thank you because you know i really that was just another thing i had to do this weekend so thank you so much for taking off my plate you know something simple something easy okay some of y'all might be watching this video like oh she's too easy on them oh she's just gonna you let him run all over her no if it's not a big deal let's not make it one and as simple as that like y'all wonder why men don't want to talk to you sometimes you're just too much sometimes you complain too much they don't want to argue they don't want to fight you so if it's something avoidable or if it's an area where you can just again affirm him and let him know he is doing well then do that it doesn't take much out of you especially if that's a man you love you should want to give him that positive affirmation you should want to affirm him you should want him to feel good around you it doesn't always have to be an argument so you want him to feel comfortable around you to the point where he can be vulnerable and break down his walls and just be a person you know outside of being a man a masculine man at that because you know when men go outside into the world every single day they have to be their most masculine self at all times you know in their work environments whether they're with their friends colleagues whatever it may be they always have to be their most masculine self so you as his his partner his feminine partner not even if you're a woman like you know as a feminine partner you need to provide that space for him to be able to breathe to open up to break down and just be his person you know what i'm saying like don't make him feel like he has to be that masculine person in his own house 24 7 like nobody wants nobody wants that okay like let him feel at peace in his own house with you and you guys space just with you in general let him be human that's it let him be a human y'all probably notice like as you start getting closer to your partner they do have those softer sides not to say like feminine but they do have those more softer vulnerable sides where they just want to be themselves like you have to let him okay don't make him feel like he has to be mr macho around you all the time like no let him be himself let him open up let him cry if he needs to cry just let him be a person next y'all men gonna thank me for this one but ladies or men whoever's watching <laughs> we have to be direct with them okay nobody is a mind reader it makes absolutely no sense that you are mad at your partner because they don't know what's going on in your head granted if it's someone you've been with for a while of course they know you and they probably know what you would prefer or know what you like but you cannot be upset with someone because they did not know what you're thinking because they don't know what's going on in your head nobody is a mind reader okay my light not being on this whole time kind of upset me because like i just need that like i don't know just add some personality to the video but yeah nobody's a mind reader be direct tell him what you mean tell him what you want communicate that with him be a big girl put your big girl panties and your big girl bra on and use your voice okay learn how to communicate 
like I said, your person will get to know you and know you little things that get you upset or know your triggers, but sometimes they might miss it. Sometimes it might go over their heads. So you have to take the extra step to just explain that to them. And if that's your partner, if that's someone that you want to be with, want to work it out with, you shouldn't have a problem just explaining, communicating. I mean, maybe if it gets to the point where it's repetitive and you always have to explain yourself to that person, then I get it. But but if we're like in more of a beginner stage of a relationship and again you're just trying to get along with him and develop that relationship then you have to speak up no one's here to read your mind the same way you wouldn't want like you want you one of your friends to get mad at you and not tell you what the problem is don't do that to your partner it makes no sense at all and especially if something is bothering you to the core like something is burning in you and you are so mad just say what it is do not dance around it do not play guessing games do not go a week without speaking to the person because like i said we are big and grown here okay and then you're gonna be even more upset when you don't talk to them for a week and then they take a week and not reach out to you then you're gonna be real mad okay so let's just cut all that back and forth oh he he should know why i'm mad he should be able to figure it out no some some listen they're men Sometimes they're a little slow, sometimes they're not wired like us, okay? So you're going to have to spell it out for them sometimes. And it it is what it is, honestly. It That's just, that's just that. Like sometimes they genuinely do not know what's going on or what got you upset. Okay, they might have a clue, but not, like I said, it'll go over their heads sometimes and they really just won't know. So take a second out of your day, take a few minutes and just break it down for that baby. All right, all right. So another one that y'all probably hear me say often, or y'all probably just hear it often in general, let him be a man. Okay, I know I say give him space to be vulnerable. Yeah, whatever. Let him be a man. And when I say that, I mean, let him do things that are fulfilling to him as a man, that'll like boost his ego as a man. For example, when you need your gas pumps, let him pump your gas. Don't, oh, I got it. If he is in your passenger seat, if he's driving your car, don't hop out. I got it. I got the gas. No, let him be a man. Let him do the gas. If there's a cabinet or something loose at home, let him fix it. Don't jump over him and be like, oh, I got it. I could fix it. Oh, I could call somebody who could fix it. No, let him be a man. Even if you know that he isn't capable of doing it, if he can't do it, if he has proved to you already, that maybe he ain't an expert in fixing anything at all. Let him try, okay? Let him try and sometimes even just let him keep going until he can make the call and see for himself. Damn, babe, I can't do it. Maybe we should call someone else to do it. All right, I know maybe sometimes it may be a little time consuming with them because men like to think that they can figure it all out and they can fix everything. Girl, let him. It's not your job to jump over him. It's his job to be a man and figure it out. So let him do that now i know y'all like to tussle but you don't need to tussle with me and you don't need to be tussling with your man so that brings us to the next point stop arguing with these men all right stop arguing with them stop wasting your breath i feel like once y'all have a disagreement or if he's not seeing your side of the story whatever it may be say your side let him say his or even if he has to say aside, you know, get your point across, okay? Let him know where you stand, what went wrong, how you felt. Say your side of the story. But there should be no reason why you need to be screaming at the top of your lungs back and forth with grown ass men. If he doesn't understand what you're saying, if he's not taking the time out to understand you or to see where you're coming from, why are you even bothering him in the first place? screaming at him is not gonna help you get your point across any more than it did before okay people respond better when you can just talk to them at a level tone and they understand better you screaming and going off on him is not gonna help anything it's just gonna make him go damn when's she gonna stop damn this girl's always going off and that's not what you want it's not i know some of y'all probably want your men to fear you probably want him to know like if he do something wrong oh i'm gonna pop off on him no <laughs> like at the end of the day men do not like arguing and if they do he's probably a sis like that's literally probably my sis but they don't want to argue okay men are 
creatures who like to solve things well they should be like they're naturally problem solvers they want to be on your good side they don't want to be in a dog house they don't want to sleep on a couch no they want to get along with you they want to be on your good side so the same way you wouldn't argue with your son and go back and forth with a child stop arguing with these big ass adults all right like i said say your side of story if they don't get it if they're not even trying to get it then be be done with it be done right there truth be told especially if it's someone who always is messing up or doing you wrong whatever the case may be you need to choose not to deal with that person maybe they're not the one for you and that's that or maybe you guys need to find some kind of common ground like i said if it's someone who you've been with for a little while y'all need to find some type of common grounds because arguing yelling back and forth clearly isn't doing anything for either one of y'all so my point is stop arguing with these grown-ass men and another thing you're not in competition with them you know it doesn't always have to be a screaming match and same thing like i said with the whole letting them pump your gas it's not a competition you don't have to show him who could pump the gas fastest or who is stronger who could fix the cabinet fastest you're not in competition with him and once you make a man feel like you are in competition with them they're not gonna like that men like feeling as masculine as they can for their ladies okay they want to feel like that man they want to feel like that guy and it's your job to let him feel like that so again stop making it seem like you're always in competition with him let his job be his job let yours be yours and call it all right stop doing all that extra we know your daddy and your mama taught you how to be a strong independent woman so did mine but if a man said he got it we're gonna see what you could do all right i'm gonna let you do it you say you got it i'm gonna let you do it and go from there now this one i need y'all to get i need y'all to get up in your heads do your thick skulls because some of y'all don't seem to get it your man is your man not your dad okay stop looking at these men to automatically pay your bills feed you right away take you out provide for you they're not your father and i think that's where a lot of y'all go wrong with men for example first dates in my opinion if someone is inviting me on a first date i feel like you should pay you're inviting me out you're taking you know time out of my day you told me it's a date you want to take me out you should pay what i paid what i what i offer to pay to sit sure what i offer to go half maybe but i'm not gonna sit there and expect you to pay for every single thing after that date every single little like if i'm going out with you you don't have to pay for every single little thing if i'm getting my nails done i don't expect you to pay for every single time i get my nails done every single time i get my lashes done like it's nice and i would love for someone to do that especially a man who is catering a man who does like taking care of his woman in that way but i feel like a lot of you expect that from men right away and you don't even know him he doesn't even know you like that he, he really even know your middle name so how do you expect him to literally pay for your entire life he doesn't even know your middle name sis he can't even pronounce it so stop having such high expectations for men right away i think the best way to go about dating is to literally not have expectations at all like have standards yes and know what you're willing to deal with and what you're not but don't go into an, a situation having such high expectations oh he needs to pay for this oh he didn't pay for that oh he didn't send me rent money not the one for me girl if you can't take care of it yourself what makes you think that he would want to take care of it let's be real here and lastly, my very last tip is to nurture these men because I'm sorry to say it, but ladies, we already know this. Men are big ass babies at the end of the day. They want to be taken care of. They want to be cuddled. They want to be held. They want to be fed. Nurture that man. Take care of that man. Make him feel good around you. Make him feel like he is a king. And if me saying make him feel like he's a king makes you cringe, makes you feel like, uh, why would I do that? That's not the man for you because any man who's your partner any man who you love any man who you want to feel appreciated or cherished you're not gonna feel icky or cringy by treating him like a king you should want to treat him as great as he is just the same way you want him to treat you as great as you are so think about that again if i made you cringe by saying treat him like a king then baby maybe he's not your man for real sorry <laughs> anyways y'all um hopefully i'll be back next week with another video i'm gonna try my best to get these in because like i said my birthday is coming i have trips coming up things are getting crazy but i'm really gonna try to keep up with you guys and y'all should definitely follow me on instagram adelaide and monique and tiktok as well adelaide and monique y'all already know how that goes 
love you guys so much and i will see you guys next week bye